Well, here we have 9.4, number two. Um, I forgot to think about something. If you start thawing a chicken out, don't you have to do it in a certain amount of time? What if we didn't thaw the chicken out fast enough? Could the chicken die? In fact, I think for thawing chickens, you must complete the entire thawing process in five minutes or less. So, how powerful does a heater have to be? Does your chicken heater have to be to heat your, your pet up that fast? Your pet, my, you know, my pet's a chicken, I use a chicken heater. If you've got a dog, use a dog heater, a cat, a cat heater. Um, I'm sure they make these things. Anyway, so you know how much energy is required to go from negative 196 through free through thawing all the way up to body temperature, but you need to do it in five minutes or less. So you have, in this case, 2.9 million joules you need to go through. And you got five minutes. Well, five minutes, and there's 60 seconds each, right? So in fact, it's 2.9 million divided by five times 60 is 300 seconds. So how much power do you need? Well, remember, power is work divided by time. Joules of work, in this case the work is heating, seconds of time, and if you just take your answer, divide it by 300, I got 9,666.66666666. Well, we got to round it. Now, you might not know where to round. Now, one people, thing people tend to look up here is a three, there's one sig fig. No, there are 300 seconds in five minutes. There is exactly 300 seconds. There's not, is, no, we don't have it wrong. It couldn't possibly be 299 seconds or even 299.5 seconds or even 299.99999 seconds or 300.0001 seconds. It is exactly 300 seconds in a minute. So this, consider these all sig figs. So we go up here, we got two sig figs. So we're gonna round this to two sig figs. So I end up with 9,700, that's a decimal by the way, uh, 700 joules, or if you prefer, 9.7 kilo joules. Either way is fine. Um, you need a pretty powerful heater, and I don't think I can produce that power. I know I can't produce that amount of power. That is beyond my power capacity. So I'm going to have to resort to some pretty interesting machinery. But you have an idea how. Now, by the way, if your pet is bigger, expect it to require more power to get the work done of heating it if you're going to do it in the same amount of time. Thank you. Bye-bye.